Hey, this is Root Dog. Uh, if you watched one of my last videos, I went with the uh, full size Broncos or members of the full size Broncos out to uh, the San Bernardino National Forest and we ran the um, John Bull Trail, which is probably one of the hardest trails there in the San Bernardino National Forest. And uh, I had a few comments about that and about the tires I was using on my Bronco here. So, let me tell you, these are uh, a second set. Yeah, these are the second set of the uh, Be of Good Rich All Trains I've had on this truck. Um, when I first bought this truck about eight years ago, the first thing I put on there was some new tires. I think they were 31 inch tires on the factory wheels. But, uh, Good all-around tire, uh, good off-road, good highway mileage. You know, I recommend them. Um, one problem I always did have with them on this particular vehicle is wear on this right front tire. I always had some kind of weird wear on them. Uh, no matter how many alignments I had, it, this right front tire always wore funny. So that's just uh, something to do with the independent front suspension. The TTB Ford Twin Traction Beam Suspension, um, but I'll get into alignment uh, sometime, uh, sometime in the future when I got some time to actually take the wheels off here and show you uh, exactly what's so complicated about getting the alignment right on these things. But um, tires on this truck and all the years I've had it. I've gone through two sets of uh, Goodyear MTRs. I had the original Goodyear MTRs, uh, the directional MTR, Goodyear MTR. Uh, they have, I think, I still think they make them for the military. They're called OZs uh, for the uh, Humvees. I had one of the first sets of those on here and great tire, but they wore out real quick. And then I got another set with the newer tread design, the newer MTR, well, newer back then. Um, another great tire, I mean, it had some great flex to it, great traction. Not very good on the highway on wet roads. Um, but a great off-road tire. Didn't have to air them down much to get some good flex out of them. Um, but, quite a pricey tire, especially for someone like me that, that uses this truck every day to go to work. I work construction, I drive all over LA and Orange County. I just went through them like nothing. So, I was looking around for another all-terrain tire and I got these right here. This is the Pro Comp. Pro Crump AT. It was like the least expensive off-road or all-terrain tire I could find out there. And it has a uh, 50,000 mile tread wear warranty on it. So, um, actually not a bad tire for off-road. A, uh, what do you call it? Compromised tire. Not as aggressive as B of Goodrich. But a little lower cost, lasts longer on the road. It is a uh, not a designation mud and snow. But the only problem I had with these tires was uh, they're only two ply sidewall, which means they only have cord, two plies of cord in the sidewall. And uh, when I, whenever I had flats or problems with these tires, it was always in the sidewall. So that was the only weak part of this tire. So now I'm on to the, uh, I went back to the B of Gooder Trail Terrains. A little more aggressive tire, I like that. These are great in the snow. They're great in icy roads. Uh, they're, they're great in wet weather. You see all these little cuts in the sidewall? I mean, not in the sidewall, but in the tread. This is what they call siping. All these little, all these little uh, cuts you see in here, little tread things. They're on icy roads 
or in wet weather. Now, um, oh, another benefit of this tire here is it has a three ply sidewall. A three ply sidewall. It's got three plies of cord on the sidewall. But it flexes better than this tire. Why? I don't know. I was, I was uh, wondering about that. But the BF Good, which all train, has a lot more flex than the sidewall. And they worked really good for me out there on John Bull. I, I aired down 20 PSI, and uh, it worked out great. I had some comments on there, oh, you did John Bull on all trains, oh, you need a better tire. Uh, maybe if I had open diffs. Oh yeah, you don't need big tires, you don't need boggers, super monster, gumbo monster motors or whatever to go out and have a good time. That's my two cents in tires. You don't need giant tires to go off road.